So welcome everybody to this session. We're really glad that you've opted to be with us for, for the next uh, 45 minutes or so um, to be looking at the Child Protection Minimum Standards. Um, I'm sure you're here because you're wanting to learn more about the resources, but we're hoping also to give us a lot of information about your experiences, your ideas, kind of priorities for our coming work plan over 2021, 2023. My name is Joanna Wedge. Uh, I work for UNICEF as the co-lead of this fabulous working group. I've been with the team for about seven years in different capacities, um, but it's a great pleasure to be working alongside my current colleague, which is Susanna. Introduce yourself, my dear. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Susanna Davis. So I'm Joanna's other half at uh, the CPMS working group. Um, and I work uh, with Save the Children for my, my other half of my job. And we've got a couple of other presenters with us as well. Joanna, do you want to go ahead? Yeah. So the third member of our team is our communications manager, Stephanie Power. Hey, everybody. Good day. <laughs> So Stephanie has been responsible for helping us get these wonderful one year anniversary graphics uh, and our communications and our social media presence this week. So it's a great part of our team. And then joining us today is one of our key working group members. Anita, do you wanna introduce yourself? Sure. Um, hi everybody, my name is Anita. I work for Plan International as a um, global advisor for child protection in emergencies. I also co-lead the learning and development working group and I'm a member of the child protection minimum standard working group. Thank you. Queen of multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Thanks so much Anita for joining us. It's gonna be good to have you um, facilitating one of the groups. So just to explain the format for the next little while, we're going to have uh, a small presentation uh, by Susanna about uh, kind of where we're at with the CPMS and what we're hoping, uh, different ways that we're hoping that you will activate even more your support for the minimum standards. And then after that, we're going to break into three groups and the facilitators are going to rotate through each group. So it doesn't matter which group you're in, you're going to get a chance to hear about uh, and for us to hear from you about implementation at country level, the wonderful implementation toolkit that's just been released, for example. Um, we're going to look at working across sectors. Uh, that's the group uh, or the session that Anita will be um, will be look at, will be hosting. And then I'll be looking at capacity building. So as I say, we'll put you into those groups randomly and then uh, we'll rotate through so you have a chance to hear and um, and also to, to, to give feedback and ideas and, and so on and experiences that you're already um, sharing and doing in the field. After that, we'll come back to the plenary, maybe do a little summary um, and, and wrap up before, before the time because we're very conscious of, of keeping everyone to time. So once again, if you're just joining us, a very big welcome. Please put your name and your agency, your location in the chat box, and we'll get started now with uh, some of the content of the session. Susanna. Thanks a lot, Joanna. And just a second welcome to everybody and, um, and a thanks so much for cho choosing us. I think we had lots of really good competition from our other colleagues at the Alliance. Um, so I think our, our theme kind of um, throughout the week has been looking at like how we can all champion the CPMS in the different um, roles that we have and the, the different bits of child protection work that we do. How can we show up and realize the kind of promise um, for greater quality and accountability that's in the CPMS? Um, so we have a few suggestions and we'll talk about a lot more um, and your ideas in the, um, in the breakout groups in just a few minutes. So our first is share the CPMS introduction, introduction video on social media now. Um, the links will be in the chat shortly. If you haven't seen it yet, um, maybe check it out after the session. It's available in English, uh, French, Spanish, and, and Arabic, and it's a really great conversation starter. Um, if you haven't done a lot of work on the minimum standards in your agency or your response hasn't picked up the new edition that much yet, this is a great way to start looking at it and start those conversations. Um, the, next, um, the next kind of idea that we had is kind of 
next week, um, kind of as you're reflecting on all the great things that you heard about at the annual meeting, um, think about um, the funding and the resources that are needed to support um, engagement with and implementation of the minimum standards. So if you're an organization that does have funding or resources, even if that resource is just your own time, um, consider how you can champion and support the CPMS as we all do kind of from our different roles. And I think one of the exciting opportunities is that um, the CPMS are now available for purchase. So we're in partnership with a not-for-profit publisher called Practical Action, and the link is being shared in the chat now. And you can buy copies for yourself, for your colleagues, for your partners. And it's a really great and tangible way to give back to um, frontline workers and local actors who might not be able to afford copies because we get, as the CPMS working group, we get two pounds back for every copy that you buy and we reinvest that in providing free or reduced copies, um, free or reduced price copies to, to frontline workers and national actors. Um, and our kind of fourth suggestion was look at how you can support country level implementation um, and also institutionalize the CPMS in your organization. Uh, one of our breakout groups shortly will be talking about country level implementation and the new uh, implementation toolkit you see. Um, and we and that's something that we're really eager to, to carry forward with uh, with a variety of actors. And so our last question, our last question, suggestion um, is, you know, we're in the season, if you're in, if you're directly in a humanitarian response right now, it's uh, HRP season uh, for many organizations um, and actors kind of throughout our field. It's a time of year where we're developing new proposals and grants for the new year. Um, consider including activities to, promote and implement the CPMS um, in those proposals and grants. Um, you can kind of look at some of the key activities that are listed in the implementation toolkit. You can get ideas from the discussions that you'll have with us today. Um, but think about how in 2021, you can make the standards more real in, in the work that you do and in the, the role that you play. So those are our ideas, our suggestions for how you can um, champion the CPMS and make it real. And in just a moment, we're going to um, separate out into the breakout groups um, where you can ask more questions and share your ideas. So I'll hand over to Joanna to explain that really quickly. Super. Thanks, Susanna. And as you can see, there's lots of ideas we have for you and asks that we have for you in terms of taking action over the next weeks and months. Um, but we are, as Susanna said, eager to hear about what you need from us, what support, uh, what questions you still have. So that's what the next exercise is going to be. Um, we're, as I mentioned, if you're just joining us now, welcome. We're going to break out into three groups randomly, and you're going to stay in that group for the next half an hour or so. And the three facilitators, myself, Susanna, and Anita, will be rot rotating through every nine or, or 10 minutes um, to tell you a little bit about um, what we've been doing and what we have planned, but also very much to hear from you about what you've been doing and what you would like us to, to plan to do. So the three topics, as mentioned, is around capacity building on the CPMS. Uh, it's around um, implementation at uh, the field level. Um, and then we're also looking at working across sectors and our partnerships with um, our, our colleagues in nutrition and health and education and so on. So uh, that'll be the chances that you have uh, in each of these in each of these sessions. So without further ado, um, we will put you now into the breakout rooms and join you there. Uh, for those of you and Kat. Hi. <laughs> so please do accept the invitation to the breakout room that Kat's about to pop up on your screen. It's actually just going to send everybody there automatically. So right. um, you're going to pop up, your screen's going to look like it's frozen for a second and then you'll reappear in separate breakout rooms. <laughs> Fantastic. Great, I will send you all now. Thank you so much. <laughs> 